just did our team call. Monday nights are our team call nights. So we have always done this, you know, because we all work virtually. Um, so we're just really great at coming together and doing things virtually, whereas the rest of the world just isn't used to this. So they kind of like everyone's fumbling, but we're like, oh, this is our normal. I just thought of something. Salad and Go, have you guys heard of that? It's the most amazing thing on this planet. Anyways, after my mentorship calls, I'm gonna go and get lunch from there because you can't really get anything healthy at the stores right now because it's all gone. <laughs> but if Salad and Go were to be promoting themselves like a mofo right now and capitalizing on this situation, no one would be mad, right? They would be like, thank you, thank you, oh my gosh, thank you, right? Because it's on the go salad. You literally drive up, you order your salad and you take it and run. <laughs> That's why I don't feel bad sharing in my opportunity with you guys right now because you're stuck at home <laughs> more than likely. You can't go to the gym. You can't go to your workout classes. I'm literally handing over a gift to you on a silver platter by saying, come and join me in this lifestyle. Do your workouts at home and make an income. Like make an income. I mean, shit, you guys, I think back to when I started this opportunity five years ago, a little over five years ago. What if my upline coach, the person who shared this opportunity with me, what if she would have looked at me, broke as a joke, $50,000 in student loan debt, Mike just got laid off. What if she looked at me and played God and said, oh, I feel really bad. I don't want to capitalize on her weakness right now and not present this amazing gift of an opportunity to help her get out of her shitty situation. Are you kidding me? I would have been pissed at her if she did not share this with me because it is what got me out of my crappy situation. What I went through five years ago was my own coronavirus internally and financially. Why wouldn't I share this with you? So I just told my team, I was like, you guys better not hold out on people right now. You better unapologetically share this with the world right now because you guys watching and people need this now more than ever. I would much rather have someone get mad at me for sharing this opportunity than have someone get mad at me for not sharing it. So I'm always going to be that person that shares this with you. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is another anti-MLM video and this is the pandemic part two video. Did I think I would have to make this video? No, I did not think I would have to make the first one, but things have only gotten worse. And I think to kick this video off, I want to start off with an apology. I just have to apologize because in my last video, I didn't even realize it, but I didn't go hard enough. I didn't go after these people hard enough. And here's the thing, and this is gonna set the tone for the rest of the video. I have no sympathy for these people, none. These people are scammers at the end of the day. They don't care about you, they care about themselves. They care about lining their own pockets. Their businesses are built on the backs of other people who are in vulnerable and desperate times and they need money, they wanna change their lives and they can take advantage of that. If you think about it, no one's ever joined an MLM when they were at the peak of their lives, right? You hear all the stories of everybody who joins them and they say, oh, I was $50,000 in debt and I, I was hating my life, I was going through this, whatever, and that is what started their business. That's when they got in. Nobody ever starts these things when they're just living large, doing great. It just doesn't happen that way. They prey on vulnerable people and that's what they attract. So again, I'm gonna reiterate this. I have no sympathy for these people. There are people that are dying. There are people who are being taken advantage of and it's not right and I'm not gonna allow it to happen. So anyway, where to begin with this video? Similar to the last one, these are people who are taking full advantage of the pandemic. They're taking advantage of the pain and the suffering of others, the anxiety of others, the fear of others. I mean, everything. It's There's nothing that's off limits. And I wanna preface this by saying that every MLM creates this type of person. So these people might not be these people, these types of people, they might not behave this way and act this way before they get in MLMs, but once they are in MLMs, these types of businesses change them. And that is all due to the recruiting model because they make the majority of their money. You virtually have to recruit in these businesses to make money, right? That desperation turns into these actions, these crazy behaviors where they're trying to rope people in during a pandemic. They'll use anything, they'll say anything, 
And, you know, again, this video is going to be no exception. I, I really did think that maybe after the first one, people would just like pump the brakes a little bit because we know that they know that we're watching them. But no, people are actually rationalizing even more for why they need to be pushing it more than ever. So let's kick it off with a couple appetizers. I'm seeing a lot of posts like this, so I think they're a good place to start. So this one comes from a popular uh, Monate Memes account. A lot of consultants follow it. So anyway, it says, I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's not exactly a bad time to sell shampoo from your home. Make money and help others stay clean and safe all while working from home. Win, win, win. And it says, uh, a lot of consultants then reposted this and they're like, preach, hit me up, stuff like that. So anyway, let me ask you a question about this because I saw this post over and over, just different versions of this. Who is gonna buy this stuff right now? Who is gonna spend money on overpriced shampoo right now? Who? I don't know who's gonna buy that. People are losing their jobs. They don't know where their next paycheck's coming from. I don't know who's gonna buy any of these shitty pyramid scheme products because the prices are inflated to account for the commissions that their sellers have to get, their consultants. So these products are way overpriced and everybody knows it. You know, I thought it was a bad business opportunity before, but especially as people start to lose their jobs, it becomes an even worse opportunity, okay? Because of the inflated prices, the non-essential items. They're a tough sell as it is. You don't even make money selling the shampoo. You make most of your money in the recruiting. So here's another one. This is from the anti-MLM Reddit. <laughs> And it says, people losing their jobs, hours being reduced, and I'm over here building an online income. Thinking emoji. Hashtag ask me how. And it's labeled trashy, which it is. This is trashy. It's sort of a sardonic post as it is. People are losing their jobs, and here I am over here building my empire, building my income. It is trashy, and it's just that the overall attitude of this is so off-putting. And the sad part is, this is not the only post that I've seen like that, and we're gonna see a lot more. So here's another great one. This is actually, um, so we talked about in my celebrities and MLMs video, I talked about Kelly Chase from Love is Blind. And I pointed out that, look, she's got all these new followers from the show and her very first post after the show wrapped and she's got all these new followers was about her online business opportunity, trying to rope people in. I went through the whole thing. She's with Beachbody. She posted another photo of herself, of course, and it said, the food delivery guy showed up wearing a protective mask and gloves. I literally didn't know how to respond. I smiled, thanked him, of course, but I know he saw my initial reaction, uncertainty. I was taken aback, and then the pass off of the food was so awkward too. His fingertips were holding the handles of the bag, so I took a hand for the bottom of the bag, and with a smooth release, the bag became mine. Stay healthy and safe, were communicated by us both. I closed the door and immediately stripped the food from the bag, tossed the bag away, and wash my hands. I could say I'm a little paranoid about hashtag COVID-19. On the flip side, I just wanted to cry and give the man a hug. I somehow felt that this job might be the, his only form of income. He's out here risking his own health simply to sustain financially during these times and bring food happiness to others. It's humbling yet heartbreaking at the same time. Thank you to all of our friends out there serving people still. Military, medical teams, law enforcement, restaurant owners, and staff slash delivery teams. Anyone who's going into the office, etc. For any who is struggling financially or who would just like to help others during this time but don't know how please look into the opportunities in the online space all you need is zoom or a similar program and a landing page to collect emails so you can nurture and communicate with those interested in what I have to share slash offer. I always feel like I'm, if I'm not sharing my knowledge, then I'm doing a disservice. Well, this is not the time to be holding back. This is the time we come together to serve just as the above mentioned individuals are. Let's turn those passions into programs slash products ASAP. So we are expressing our gifts while being a gift to somebody else's life. You have no idea the power of your story until you begin to share. Hashtag sharing is caring. Ladies, I did a training Training on creating an online course inside my Facebook group. Link in my bio if you want to connect further and catch the replay. Hashtag COVID-19, hashtag Corona, hashtag love is blind, hashtag chase life with Kelly, hashtag health, hashtag mental health. First of all, let me say that I think what she's talking about is different than Beachbody. I think that she's created her own like life coach happenings where she tells people how to make an income. All of those basically just say, oh, you need all these different streams of income and here's what I do. So Beachbody is a part of that stream of income that she is going to recommend to people. And she has Beachbody in her 
thing in her bio, as we all know, in the link tree. And then she also um, has been hashtagging and working for Beachbody for years, like since 2015. So there's a lot of things that obviously piss me off about the way that she's approaching the situation. She's saying, I have just so much paranoia and anxiety about COVID-19. She's using that to sell her products. She's profiting off the fear and anxiety of other people. This, this whole thing puts me off about the food delivery guy, this story that she's telling about, you know, she just gets the feeling this is his only source of income. And this he's putting his life in danger and he's doing this because he has no other income. It's like, you don't even know that about this person. At least he's working a real fucking job for real fucking money where he doesn't have to recruit people. I mean, this is so off-putting. This is so distasteful, the way that she's worded this, the way that she kind of elevates herself above a food delivery worker. Then she goes on to have this half-hearted, um, you know, thank you note to all the nurses and all the people, blah, blah, blah. And she's saying, this is the time to serve. And it would be a disservice if I wasn't sharing this. That is the rhetoric that you hear over and over and over during the situation. These scammers are out, okay? The scammers are out. And I have seen this so many times, like if you're not sharing right now, it is a disservice and we need to be telling people about this opportunity. I would feel like an, a dick for not telling people about this opportunity. I mean, this rhetoric, it's the lies people tell themselves. This is not the time to be profiting off other people. It's not. The whole world is like out of sorts right now and this is all they can think about. Anyway, the whole post is off putting. Be aware of this type of scam behavior. If people are doing this, be alert. I mean, I know a lot of people that watch these videos are, but just make sure that you're letting other people know too if you feel like they might be susceptible or you're seeing stuff like this. You know, these situations are very financially dangerous. It'd be a real shame at this time of somebody's life where they're scared about money and for them to go into a business where they're gonna lose even more money. So if you're struggling for income and you don't, you lost your job, you're unemployed right now, whatever the situation may be, this is not the time because you will lose money. And again, 99% of the people reported by the FTC lose money in MLMs. So it's distasteful and absolutely deplorable to try to reel people into this lose-lose opportunity right now. Okay, so this next thing that happened. I'm just going to get it out of the way. This was insane. Okay. And I said this in my last video too. I said, there's always something going on with Team Beachbody. This is the craziest thing to happen probably this week. It was just a huge calamity. So um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but there is an Instagram account called Dude with a Sign. And he has 6.9 million followers. He's almost a 7 million. And he's just like a big kind of social commentary ironic meme account and it's just a dude it's a dude with a sign and he just writes social commentary ironic jokes on a cardboard sign and that's it and he takes pictures like out in public or on balconies or just anywhere so anyway just to give you kind of a precursor he's posted stuff before like keep tiktoks on tiktok and that's kind of like a social commentary funny joke about how people post tiktoks on like other platforms, you know, it's it's silly, it's funny, right? He also posted another one, stop sharing my posts to your story. I think that's funny too. It's it's like, it's a joke. All of this is a joke. He also did no one cares what Disney character you got, which was the like Disney thing on Instagram, the filter that told you what Disney character you were. Anyway, it's funny social commentary about things that all people are talking about. It's current events. It's all jokes though. Like it's mostly jokes. Okay, just so everybody knows. So this week he posted, stop posting your home workouts. Again, it's a joke. The way that I look at this is everybody's posting their home workouts right now on Instagram, like not even related to Beachbody. Everybody I know, people that don't even post their home workouts are posting their home workouts. To me, the way I interpret it is like, okay, everybody's, everybody wants to just sit around and like eat junk food right now and just relax while they're at home and we don't wanna see your home workouts of you being healthy, like healthier than us, do you know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it, but it's social commentary, it's poking fun at other things. So. Anyway, Us Weekly, he, they reposted his picture saying, stop posting your home workouts. And it said, at dude with a sign, saying what we're all thinking. It's funny. I mean, I, I don't know how else to say this, but it's a joke, okay? It's a joke. So anyway, to some people, it was not a joke. And this sparked the biggest and craziest story 
of all time. I mean, this just sparked the most unnecessary, weirdest. I, I, I don't even know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. This is insane. So the CEO of Beachbody, who we mentioned in the last video because he was also trying to profit off people. He was calling people heroes last week. He was calling Beachbody people heroes. And, you know, last week I was kind of like, okay, is he calling Beachbody people heroes? Or is he, who is he talking to? Who is he trying to mobilize when he says let's go heroes and let's get going. This week I know for sure he was calling beach body coaches heroes. So here's his post. He posted a similar photo to dude with a sign and he has a cardboard box and it says, keep posting your home workouts. You're inspiring people in parentheses. And this was his caption of this post. By the way, he's wearing like jockey goggles. No one knows why he's wearing those. Let's just wear sunglasses, but okay. If Us Weekly thinks it's a good idea to use their platform to belittle the heroes who are inspiring millions to stay active, see second photo, I'm gonna use my platform to turn it around to show you the love and celebrate you heroes. No matter what program you're doing, hold up your sign and invite people to join us. Saturday we go all in. Do your home workout with pride and post it. Doesn't matter what company's content you're doing, just do it. Everybody all in for the big sweaty Saturday. Then post it and make sure to tag at dude with a sign and at us weekly and me to show that we are actually quite proud to be staying active and taking the time to inspire millions to do the same. Hashtag big sweaty Saturday. I can't believe it. Okay, I can't believe this. Before I say anything else, we're gonna watch a video of a Beachbody coach explaining what they did after they saw this post from their CEO, Carl Deichler. There's this big thing going on right now. Um, so I don't know if you guys know dude with a sign, the dude who holds up a random sign, um, but he wrote on his stupid piece of fucking cardboard, stop posting your at-home workouts, no one cares, or something like that. And my CEO clapped back and he said, keep posting your at-home workouts, you're inspiring people. So now it's just this huge thing. And US Weekly like reposted Dude with a Sign. And let's just say we are not here for negativity. So we are shoving it in his face by all working out together this morning so it's like the big sweaty saturday just anyone can work out today make sure you post it make sure you tag dude with a sign us week okay he got the people fired up the beach body coaches they're fired up okay that was the reaction to dude with a sign it was this immediate like what the fuck? this guy's talking shit about us he's telling us to stop posting our workouts and guess what our ceo clapped back clap back in jockey goggles. Okay. So anyway, everybody was up in arms. Beachbody coaches everywhere. Up in arms. They can't believe that dude with a sign came after the entire Beachbody Corporation. We're heroes. We're inspiring people. The number one thing that pissed me off about this more than anything else is Carl Deichler calling people, Beachbody coaches, heroes. Heroes in what world is a scammer a scammer a hero heroism is and should be synonymous with altruism doing something with no benefit to yourself to serve other people that is the opposite of what Beachbody is. The opposite. Pulling people into your pyramid scheme is not altruism. You posting things and getting people to sign up for free workouts. It's not free workouts, by the way. Strings attached. You have to give your email to them so they can bother you for years to come, okay? You inviting people to be part of your Beachbody workout program is not heroism. Calling Beachbody coaches heroes has got to be the most entitled <laughs> ever heard I that I have heard this week that I have heard, maybe I've heard this year oh, no that I've heard this year I read this because somebody was talking about this topic and they said that Carl Deichler the CEO of Beachbody knows exactly how to motivate his coaches he knows how to mobilize them he knows how to call them to action he knows how to incentivize them I mean he know he knows 
it's this. He's pretending like this dude with the sign thing, a joke, again, a joke on the internet, is a direct attack on the beach body coaches and their livelihood and what they're doing. This is the equivalent of like Khloe Kardashian subtweeting on her Instagram stories and me, me going, oh my God, she's subtweeting about me. That has to be about me. She's calling me out. It's like, no, they don't, he doesn't know you. Everybody's posting their at-home workouts, not just you. To take something so personally and just turn something that was a joke into this calamity, it's like, do you really think the world is stopping and staring and watching Beachbody coaches? I mean, this is funny. This is what happens when Beachbody coaches interact with the rest of society. Everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why are you taking this so personally? Why did you turn a joke into this huge drama? Oh, go tag Us Weekly. By the way, it's Us Weekly, not US Weekly. Why go tag Us Weekly and go tag Dude the Sign and show him. We're not gonna stand for this negativity. These people are so negative. That's a, I always hear that shit. It is so fucking annoying. Oh, the negativity of the anti-MLM. We're trying to stop people from losing money. Trying to stop people from getting scammed. But anyway, back to what I was saying. He knows how to motivate people. This created a huge stir. Everybody's posting stories so they can get on Carl Deichler's stories. So they're posting the same sign, post your at-home workouts. We're showing up to Dude with a Sign. I mean, if anything, this is a huge advertisement for Dude with a Sign. I'm gonna start following him now. I mean, it's funny. Social commentary. Get a life, get a life, uh, get a life, uh, get a life. Oh, get a life, okay, get a life. I mean, get a life and get a real fucking job, seriously. During this time to ignite this dumb drama is so self-serving. And we know why you did it. You want more people to sign up for Beachbody with Big Sweaty Saturday. By the way, most disgusting hashtag you could have created. Carl, you've created a company full of lemmings, just so you know. Lemmings. So anyway, while we're on the same topic of the girl that was crying in her stories last week, her upline posted something that I thought was very interesting, which she then deleted. And this just goes to show the people who are at the top of Beachbody, the top of MLMs. You know, of course, there's this rampant materialism that goes on in these things. They're constantly flashing their stuff. They're, they're talking about their wealth and their, their exuberance. I mean, it's just, it's so... Stop. Okay, it's just stop. But I haven't seen anything like this ever before. It said, she posted on her story, this was I think a day or two ago, and it said, in other news, I'm gifting myself a COVID-19 present. Kind of like a souvenir so I never forget, you know? It's an $890 Gucci bag. COVID-19 present souvenir. Okay. Do you know how many people have filed for unemployment? I mean, at this time, it is so disgusting to be that materialistic, to be that out of touch, that you're buying yourself an $890 COVID-19 souvenir gift, commemorative gift, so you can always remember. No wonder why you deleted that, but guess what? We got the screenshots, okay? So not only is she making money off the backs of other people, she's spending that money at a time when people are struggling on a Gucci commemorative bag. Nice. Real nice. Those are people at the top, no morals. No sense of morality, no integrity. It's just so trashy, I can't even stand it. Okay, so anyway, deep breath. I'm gonna pop a blood vessel in about 10 seconds here. So I need to relax. Let's switch gears a little bit. And I found this on the anti Beachbody Coach's Instagram. I just thought it was sad. <laughs> It says, free roll to all the new clients or coaches who join today to start tomorrow. And she has a picture of a toilet paper roll. So she's giving out toilet paper to people who sign up. Have you ever been that desperate at your job that you were doing that? That you were giving away toilet paper? Roping people in that way? This is just a life tip. If you find yourself in that position, find a new job. Just find, just anything else. Just find a new job, would you? Anything else. Next, um, this was sent to me and this was a message that somebody got recently, the hey girl message that we all know and love, we've all received. So it says this, hey, oh my God, can you even believe all the craziness going on? It doesn't even seem real. Shocked and sad emoji. 
I hope you're staying sane and healthy. I'm reaching out because I know we chatted sometime before about possibly be doing what I do as a coach, and I know timing may have been off. I'm getting way more interest now because everyone has more time on their hands or is at home already, or could use some additional income. So I decided to do another coaching info video, and I'd love to share it with you. So many people are needing these home workouts and community right now, and we can help give them that. This emoji. Are you interested in checking it out? And I know the timing may have been off before. So you think the timing's good now? No, you're a piece of shit. So let's talk about this because this is something very serious that I definitely need to cover in this video. And I didn't even think about this till I saw this. So I saw this on seriously hun, seriously underscore hun's Instagram account. It's another good Instagram account to follow, anti MLM. And she found somebody that said this, that posted this. First, it was from a Monate person. It said, I stopped posting my Monate paychecks a couple of months ago because I felt like I had nothing to prove, but I'm still getting paid through this pandemic. A lot of you cannot say the same, but are too afraid to take the leap of faith into the unknown due to the scarcity mindset. My DMs are open for boss ass bitches that ain't scared. Let's get this money. I've said this once, I've said this twice. I've said it 15 times. How do people think that this nasty, snotty attitude is going to sell? Boss has bitches that ain't scared. You have a scarcity mindset. So this is the next slide from the same exact Monet girl. Um, and she took a screenshot of the stimulus check. So if you're part of, the, if you're in the United States, you probably already know this, but the United States government passed a stimulus bill, a stimulus package thing that they're doing where um, individuals who make below 75K a year are gonna get a $1,200 one-time payment check. And then there's a bunch of other things like if you're married and then different things like that. Anyway, then she took a screenshot of like somebody kind of going through what, this, what that means, the stimulus bill, what people are gonna get, whatever. This is her caption. She says, now check this out. When you get your stimulus money, you can literally invest one sixth or one fourth of it into a home-based business that can turn into a million dollar opportunity. I'm ready and waiting to lead women who want more for themselves. Let's talk. So uh, this brings up a very, very important point of the video. And I just want people that if you're in the United States right now, be very aware because when people know you're getting money, a lot of people are gonna be qualifying for that stimulus check. And if you qualify, there are gonna be way more scammers coming around because they know you now have $1,200. Please do not invest into a pyramid scheme. If somebody's already trying to use your stimulus money and trying to profit off your stimulus money, beware of that person. So beware because the scammers, I mean, they're already coming out. They come out in major crises like this, but especially when people know that there's a stimulus check coming and a lot of people are gonna get like this money that they hadn't accounted for, they're really gonna come out because they know that it's there. Here's another post that uh, somebody sent me and it says, coronavirus would be a non-issue if you worked from home, uh, mask emoji. By the way, I can help you with that. Coronavirus is an issue for everyone in the entire world. There's nobody that it's a non-issue for, okay? Even if you do work from home, it's still an issue. I work from home still an issue. You're out of touch. I don't, I can't understand why you would say something like that. It's just, it's again, what are these MLMs doing to people? Please like just, just that's what I'm trying to get you to realize what, what's happening to these people. This is not okay. Here's the next one. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to laugh. <laughs> she posts a picture of herself and says, what if you had COVID-19 like me and day four feel like death hit you? but you look like this. I mean, you look like you feel good because of your routine of the day, shower immunity, cocktail, teeth brush, new clothes on. How many of you would wanna feel this good when you feel that bad? So, <laughs> this person has coronavirus. <laughs> it's not funny, but this person has coronavirus and they're still, I mean, still saying, look, I got it. Don't you wanna look this good when you feel like shit? The girl that sent me this told me she's part of it at work, she said, and she also sent me um, a screenshot of the girl messaging her saying, hey girl, just started this new gig as a brand rep. I'm so excited, I'm making money from home. So anyway, it's sad, the desperation. Somebody has coronavirus and they're still, they're still pushing. Anyway, shifting again to 
one of the more abhorrent things I've ever seen in my lifetime. This is something to really get mad about. If you want to be mad about something, really be mad about this. The essential oils people who are taking advantage of this time, a lot of them are making false claims. Uh, this is across all MLMs, but a lot of the essential oils especially are making false claims about their products. And by the way, if anyone makes false claims, I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can report them. It's illegal to make false claims about your products that cannot be backed up. Some people are saying they have the cure to coronavirus. Some people are saying they have antiviral products. That's not something you can say, by the way. So anyway, we've got a couple of people here. So this is, comes from Not Your Hun on Instagram, another great anti-MLM account. I'm gonna have links down below to every anti-MLM account that I mentioned in this video, but somebody posted, so my shortness of breath keeps getting worse despite feeling better fever-wise. I tried to use my only rescue inhaler and realized it was basically empty. My primary is no longer open. I'm, I'm gonna try to call a walk-in in the morning, but does anyone know the best way to get a rescue inhaler right now? And some people answered, honestly, they're like, yeah, call a family doctor, urgent care, blah, blah, blah. Then someone replied, do you know anyone that has doTERRA breathe? So that's one of their essential oils. Uh, they're saying that, that that's a good um, alternative to needing a rescue inhaler. Somebody also commented, essential oils are the last thing an asthmatic needs right now. And that's true. And again, like during this time, the number one thing is when you have shortness of breath is when you're supposed to go into the hospital is what I've read and what I've heard from doctors and every, you know every source basically. And to recommend uh, an essential oil, you have to report those people. So someone from Melaleuca posted this. You said They said, do you know Lysol is a volatile organic compound? A VOC has been shown to lower IQ in children developmentally. Lysol has VOC levels of 1200 ppm and anything over 500 ppm is toxic, all caps and bolded. The main ingredients in Lysol contribute to asthma and respiratory problems, neurological damage slash autism, ADHD, hormonal disruption, and fertility problems. This is where I insert, I got you. My disinfectant is EPA approved, but it's all natural, powered by essential oils, the perfect solution to replace Lysol. I wasn't sure if that was Melaleuca, but it is. It's their Solugard Botanical, and the only thing that's in there is like citric acid. Um, they're saying citric acid and thyme oil kills over 99% of common household germs. But again, this is somebody who's trying to profit off the fears of other people saying, you're, oh, your kids are gonna get autism neurological damage, asthma and respiratory problems, ADHD, you're gonna have fertility problems because you're using Lysol during this time when you're supposed to be disinfecting everything. I mean, it's just like, what the fuck is wrong? I mean, what's wrong with people? I don't, I can't figure it out. Here's another one, this, this was on Facebook. They said, where can a pregnant immunocompromised person find disinfectant spray and hand sanitizer? Long shot, but I'm, I'm sure, but whatever. And this person replied, essential oils can be used as both. It's actually pretty strong stuff depending on what you get. They have a link to their uh, essential oils business like page. And it says, so many of them are potent antifungals. I believe an even antibacterial. Hydrogen peroxide too. Report, report, report. As soon as you can, if you see stuff like that. I mean, this is this disgusting. It's just... Disgusting. So anyway, this is from the anti-MLM Reddit and this is a Young Living uh, distributor. And it said, this is a just a screenshot of one of their comments on something. It says, oil of oregano has been tested and proven effective against coronavirus as well. So yes, vitamin C and elderberry and vit D and oil of oregano. Support your immune system and you will be fine. Stop drinking soda and eating fast food and exercise and you will see massive results in a healthier immune system. Oil of oregano. Okay, oregano is gonna, okay, oregano. I mean, this is insane to say these things. Oil of oregano has been proven and tested effective on coronavirus. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. And I'm pretty sure the CDC and uh, the World Health Organization have both advised that if you see these things, you have to report them. Don't, you know, do not take what these people say and think that that's totally fine. There has been nothing that's been tested and proven effective against coronavirus besides washing your hands. So I have no words for these people. I really don't. Um, here's another one that is just amazing to me. So this is a beach body person. And as you know, they all drink like this yellow pre-workout, which a lot of them use like really weird terms for. This person uses go-go juice. 
as the euphemism for her pre-workout, Beachbody pre-workout. So anyway, she posted, go, go juice. <laughs> giving me all the energy for day two of boxing and with the added anti-inflammatory and antiviral benefits too. Antiviral? No. Mm -mm. No. Report. Report. Blocked and reported. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to finish off on this, this last topic, which I am seeing an inundation of. And I think it's important to talk about and I think that I want to cover it because a lot of people could get roped in this way. It's kind of this sanctimonious tactic that they use and it is that of MLM Huns putting together like care packages for health workers and you know people that might need it who are working the front lines and they're doing it with this kind of like oh we're trying to help these people we, we want to serve them we want to give back and be thankful and, and give them these things but in reality it's a much different story so this is from the mlm boss babe it's one of my favorite anti-mlm accounts it has been for a really long time and she posted a really great post and it says mlm care kits where's your donation going and it says the mlm when the consultant buys products for the kits the mlm itself makes a substantial profit Consultants, product purchases can be used to earn new ranks as well as earn rewards and bonuses and then uplines. Every single person in that consultant's upline earns a commission on the products being purchased. So I like this post from her because it underlines the all the ways that these people benefit from these care packages, right? So here's like an example that I'll show you. So somebody said, this is a an Arbon person. This is a lot of Arbon people doing this. Um, they said, here's what's gonna be included in our help us give back packages, protein packs, fizz sticks, fit twos, detox tea, hydration packets, protein bars, and thank you cards. And She's like, got this, if you want to contribute, I'm taking donations, Venmo me, and it's like, she's got all these different things you can donate. Somebody else sent me, they said, my dad is an ER nurse, and he brought this home this morning. Of course, the hun left her business card in case anyone wanted to place an order. I can guarantee my dad and any other healthcare worker could not give less of a fuck about fizz or protein shakes right now. They want people to wash their hands and stay home. I wish people would stop defending these stupid fundraisers. It would be so much more beneficial to donate the money to actual charity rather than lining the huns or MLM's pockets. This girl says it perfectly. She says, thanks for what you're doing, speaking out and predatory businesses look forward to your thing and she sends a photo of the Arbon package that her father got as an ER nurse it does indeed have the Arbon independent consultant card which again if you're doing this out of the just the goodness of your own heart you're never going to include your own card okay not going to include your own card in there for future sales and then she has like a little note and then she has like these really just beat up packets of protein shake mix, fizz sticks. You know, I'm gonna make it very clear how I feel about these things. This is not the way to donate. These people do earn a commission when you do that. They earn rank bonuses when they do that. So like instead, if they're, you know, if they're living so large, they're saying you're making $5,000 a week, you know, all those people that say that. Like why not just donate money straight there? And instead you're bringing your nasty, like protein sticks and these care packages and you're bringing them to hospitals and bringing new germs into the hospital. Healthcare workers need you to stay away from them. Stop bringing them foreign, you know, germs into their space. You just have to get real here. This is not what people want. This is not what people need. We know why you're doing these donations. There have been so many of these things. And, you know, the more things that people sell, the higher they can rank up. Then they become like diamond distributors or they become ruby or whatever i mean there's all these different names right black status red status green and these people rank up because they make these sales so they're not doing it out of the goodness of their own heart it's not something you should fall for and again if you're buying into these products i've said this before i'll say it again if you're buying mlm products you're contributing to a company that takes advantage of other people and disempowers other people you can't buy these things even if it's the best product in the world you're like oh you know, I love Arbonne Fizz Sticks. It doesn't matter. You can find a dupe for any of these products. These products are not that great. I'm just saying. There's an ulterior motive here with these product packs, these care packages that they're dropping off to people, right? So just be aware, you know, these are the different kinds of scams. I felt like we covered a lot of kind of the ones that maybe I didn't even cover in the last video, like the, you know, people saying they have the cure to coronavirus, people saying that this is gonna be antiviral, people saying use your stimulus check, donate a fizz pack. So yeah, anyway, I just wanna end this video by saying be alert, be vigilant, be tactful. These people are out. It's only getting worse from here. The, the worse the virus gets, the worse these people get. They get desperate, they'll do anything, they'll say anything, they get creative, 
right? Because once you call them out on doing one thing, now these new things pop up. Be very vigilant, not just for MLM scams during this time, but any other scam too. Check in your email box. Go up and check that you're getting emails from the right people. Don't click on any links that you might be wary of. Um, they could take you to different sites. There's a lot of online scams going on. It's already tough enough for people, so I just don't want you to fall into anything um, that might be harmful to you or dangerous to you or whatever. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't join an MLM ever, ever, ever. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave a like if you like this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Every